There are more than 20 million veterans in the United States who have served our country. 22 News reporter Mike Mascadrelli joins us live after speaking with World War II and Vietnam veterans in Northampton. That's right, Ashley. These vets risked their lives to defend our country, but they had vastly different experiences when they returned home from the battlefields. Living in the mud, sleeping in it, eating in it. Something you never forget. 94 year old Northampton resident Edwin Nartowitz served in the front lines in North Africa and Italy during World War II in the 1940s. He's one of many veterans who struggles with PTSD and all the flashbacks that come with it. I'm on medication, so I don't have to live with flashbacks and all that. You never forget it. Nartowitz said many World War II vets had a tough time transitioning back to a normal life and finding jobs after the war, but none of them faced any scrutiny. Life after the war was not easy for many Vietnam War veterans. One vet told 22 News many of them faced hostility and were not appreciated for their service. We did come home to good times. It really was against us, you know. We, we just did what we were told. And it's hard for me to talk about it. Kelly said he felt ashamed for serving in the Vietnam War and didn't tell anyone he was a veteran for more than 40 years. Six years ago was the first time I told anybody that I was in Vietnam. But now I'm proud. Kelly is one of many Vietnam vets that have heart disease, anxiety, and diabetes due to the toxic chemical Agent Orange, which was used as a weapon during the Vietnam War. He said the VA in Leeds has been instrumental in helping him with these medical conditions. Mike Mascadrelli, 22 News.